It's because I prayed three times a day. That's what got me in trouble. I got tricked. I was an idiot. I let those jealous fools trick me into signing the law. For 30 days, they could worship no other god besides me. How could I be so prideful? I'm ashamed. And I'm angry. I was brought before Darius, king of the Medes and the Persians. The other leaders gave him no choice but to have me thrown into that lion's den. As soon as he dropped me in, I fell to the floor and looked straight up into the face of a huge, hungry lion. I didn't move for a minute. I, I froze. There were about a dozen lions in that den, and I could tell they were all hungry. And I, well, I was the center of attention. I tried to sleep that night. I couldn't lay still. Daniel had been such a blessing to me. He'd always been such a trusted advisor, making any decision. No matter how small or large, he could handle the assignment. Daniel worshiped the God. He said the God of all gods. He called the God, the God of heaven. I didn't know this God, but he had definitely blessed Daniel. Daniel said he could do anything and that he was the one true God Almighty. I spent the night in that lion's den, but not sleeping. I knelt down and I prayed. I called out to the Lord God in heaven. He can do anything, you know. He's the one true almighty God. I called out to my God for mercy, for deliverance. I cried out, Oh Lord, I am innocent. Have mercy on me, O oh God. And suddenly there was an angel, and he shone brilliant as the noonday sun. And he smiled at me as he walked over and touched each lion on the nose. It was like he shut their mouths. And then he stood with me through the night, right there in that lion's den. I hurried out to the lion's den. I knew in my heart there was no hope. But something pulled me on. I got to the den and I cried out, Oh Daniel, was your God, the God you called, the God of all gods, was he able to save you from the lions? And I heard his voice and it was Daniel and he was still alive. I couldn't believe it. And he said, my God sent an angel and he shut the mouth of the lion. He said, because I am innocent, my king. My God delivered me from the mouths of those lions. He is my God forever. He is the one true God. He can do anything. He is God Almighty. Daniel's God is the one true God. And he can do anything, anything. He is God Almighty. And now he is my God too.